At the southern end of Africa's Great Rift Valley lies Gorongosa National Park, a vast, unexplored wilderness devastated by civil conflict. Now, the park is joining forces with biologist Edward Wilson to create a research facility like no other, the E.O. Wilson Biodiversity Laboratory. Together, they're bringing some of the brightest minds in science to Mozambique, discovering Gorongosa's secrets, nurturing the next generation of champions, and restoring this once mighty ecosystem. My name is Rui Branco, and I'm the vet working at Gorongosa National Park. The Gorongosa Land Project is an initiative that thoroughly understands the dynamics and vulnerability of the lion population in the park. The team is led by Paula Bulli, the researcher, myself as a vet, and by interns that were recruited at Gorongosa Village. Celine and Dominguez, they are the first Mozambican women to work directly on a lion project. The carnivore CAMS operation is helping us to ID lions and other predators in more remote areas of the park, areas that we cannot access very easily. On these cameras, we are looking especially for lions, leopards, hyenas, as possible wild dogs. So we've been setting up these cameras since last year. To retrieve the cameras, we flew with the chopper through the floodplain all the way to the east side of the park where the gorge is. It's a very thick area, very isolated. So even to land, we have to find the right place. And then we have to walk through that thick bush and then we reach the gorge with limestone. We chose that area because of the water. So if we see that it's trails that animals use a lot to get into the water, there is a high chance that we're going to get the animals there. Where the herbivores go, usually the carnivores will also go. Yeah, I don't miss anything to me, because I want to check it. I bring this camera, it's a very good. The batteries are strong, so we don't need to take it. We just leave it. Yeah, I'm very surprised, which is great because that means we've been getting data this whole time, the past seven months, which is just wonderful. We collected seven cameras. Some of them were underwater. Some of them, because of the water, we couldn't open with the keys. We had to cut them. But we managed to recover all of them. I know that it was very difficult to get here because we were in the water, but I liked it very much. I still have a lot of energy and a lot of energy to work. We can't wait to get back because they are sure that we are going to have a lot of interesting information. The next step is to get them into the lab and go through all the pictures. We have been going through thousands of pictures, which is very, very tiring, and sometimes even start losing a bit of hope. And suddenly, this photo with a lioness and their cubs right next to the water, drinking and playing. It's a huge adrenaline injection that you get looking at the screen. Just find three lions might sound like a small number, but it's a huge number because we have only identified 31 animals. Now we're on 34. It's also very exciting to see cubs because it also means there's a presence of a male in the area and it shows that they are mating and reproducing well. This research, by giving us locations of lions and where these animals are, it's very important for the management of the park to see where we must put more efforts in protecting these animals. For me as a Mozambican, it's a great privilege to be involved 
in this project and working with such an iconic species. The Grongosa land project, by preserving and recovering the population of lions, will help the restoration and protection of the old Grongosa ecosystem. Small steps on a journey of a thousand miles. Each new discovery bringing Gorongosa closer to its original vibrancy and hope for all of the world's wild spaces along with it.